Uh, I thought it went really well, I guess. <laughs> Ended up winning, so obviously it went well. But uh, Damel just last uh, couple hours been telling me, he got on the bus to come here, yeah, he's like, we're going to run to win today, Mitchell, all right? I was like, okay. I didn't, wasn't honestly sure if I could do it because that trainer guy's been out there, Riverside guy's up there all year, beating me all year. But extra motivation, I guess. My mom was telling me, it's, well, it's your last race, might as well give it your all. And my line. Uncle Frank, he's from Avoca, he's been walking around the court telling me, telling me different things. Been coaching this sport too long, he says. And I just... Yeah, put it all out there, might as well give it a shot. I always uh, seem to start out slower than every, all the other top runners, but I guess I like to pick them off. I just feel like if I speed up the whole race, I'll eventually I'll get up near the front, and I think I was 20th or something going around 500 meters, and then, yeah, just pick them off one by one, or if there's a group, pick off a group, and about 4,000 meters or so, it was just me and the, all I saw was the trainer guy, so just decided I'd give it a shot and go get him. Came around the last corner, saw him not too far, but a ways, and I thought, might as well go for it. And <laughs> to be honest, I got downloading some new music this weekend. I had a good song in my head, honestly, pushed me there the last thousand meters or so. <laughs> Mind so, telling me what it was? Uh, Prayer of a Refugee by uh, Rise Above or something like that. Okay. <laughs> How much of that last portion of the race was guts? Yeah, it was, it was all guts. I think the last thousand meters, I was just... I was about ready to just say, oh, I'm not going to get him, but just, then I just might as well give it a shot. No, I'm getting tired. Might as well give it a shot. And ended up giving it a shot. Got Did it. you know right away when you crossed the finish line if you'd edged him out or not? Yeah, here they give you a number of what place you got. And I mean, I was in this white and he was in the black and uh, we crossed and two steps later, the guy's like, the white guy got him, white guy got him, hand me a little one. So I knew I had him right away. <laughs> well... So it's always, you gotta get some more miles under you. Coach Dam always says run a little bit on the weekends, but my sister's sorority put on a 10K and they signed me up for it about a month ago, so might as well go run it. Ended up getting third in my age group in that, but yeah, just probably a little too much running over the weekend, but worked out all right. Yeah, yeah I've been feeling great for the past week and a half, and it's almost more frustrating than if I was hurting and I was out, but I feel great. I feel ready to come back. It's just gotta wait to get the doctors cleared. Do you ever rest? Do you, I mean, football, cross country, basketball, track, tennis, yeah, FFA, this... baseball, band, so on and so forth. Yeah, I like to stay busy, I guess. I I get more sleep than most people get, and I, I guess people talk about I only got four hours last night, but I usually get eight to ten still. I just I work in bed when I get home, don't mess around with any video games or not a whole lot of TV or anything. So, Where does winning a conference championship rank among some of your other athletic accomplishments? Uh, it's it's definitely up there, probably some of the best. Uh, uh, probably second in state last year, shuttle hurdle, I'd probably have to put that above this. Maybe the fifth in the highs last year in state. But yeah, it's definitely right up there. Where had you finished in the conference for cross country in the past? Uh, I was third last year, and I couldn't even tell you, sophomore or freshman year. What uh, is the state qualifying meet and trainer here in a little over a week? Yeah. What's your goal there? Uh, well, top 15 go, so as, as long as I go to state, I'll be happy there. But I'll definitely be, if I get some safety net, I guess, there, if I'm running in top five towards the end of the race, I'll be in a better mood than if I'm pushing 16th, 17th place trying to get there. What do you hope to accomplish at state if you're able to get back? I'm hoping top 20 at state this year, hopefully. Yeah, some everybody I talked to, like, you have mono? Like, how are you not just dead in bed for a long time but my symptoms weren't like terrible so main, most main thing I guess was my spleen was too big that's why I went out of the game a couple weeks ago on Friday, on Friday and then I went to the doctor that Monday and this my spleen was three and a half centimeters too big or so and now it's it's, it's not shrinking very fast but so once it shrinks down to about 11, 11 and a half centimeters I'll be back out there on the football field. So just waiting game for whether or not you're cleared for football? Yeah just rest and hydrate and see, wait for it to go down.